my name is Katie Elizabeth Allgood. I'm 29. I'm here today to hopefully find the dress of my dreams for my wedding next year. So fingers crossed. There's so many. How can you just pick one? I've always performed my whole life. I used to do a lot of children's theatre and I've always worn beautiful big dresses as princesses. Do you like that? That's quite nice. The rest is nice because it's it'll be bigger. Hello there. Hi, I'm David Emmanuel. Oh, hello. Hi, hello. this is Rena. Which one is the bride? Me. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Katie. I have brought with me today my mum, my aunt, and my dad. Now you tell me you're tiny. Thank you. So I've you been just... working hard to get smaller. Do so you slim down? Unfortunately, I was unwell. I had a disease called ulcerative colitis. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is inflammatory bowel disease. I tried various drugs, chemotherapy, but unfortunately for me, nothing worked. I gained weight. All of the drug side effects were just awful. I didn't want to leave my house. And then January this year, I finally had my bowel removed. I have a stoma bag now, and obviously I have to live with that, but I've got my life back. Amazing. So oh, very brave young lady. Thank you. Yeah, very brave. Any theme, any particular idea? This is why it's hard, because all my friends and family expect Katie to be in the big Disney dress, yeah. you know, oh, all elaborate, showstopper. Because of my illness, I have lost my confidence, and I'm not sure the Disney princess dress is so me anymore. So tell me now with the bag, so we have to take into consideration the shape of the gown. My bag starts from here. Look, I'll show you. OK. I'll show you. So as you can see here... Oh, so from there yeah. down? Yeah. OK. Um, is your thinking quite fitted to the, uh, just the above bodies. the waist? Yeah. I'd quite like to show off that I've got a smaller waist. Right. And then kind of... OK. Come out, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. A slightly more A-line might be rather pretty yeah. there. Yeah. A princess gown is dramatic and over the top whereas an A-line is much softer and more understated, which I think is what Katie's looking for. So where's the big day? Where's it all happening? The big day is happening at Headingham Castle, Ooh. which, yeah, it's beautiful. It's a really old castle. My fiancé is Stephen Gunshin. He is a real cheeky chappy, fun-loving kind of guy, class clown for sure. Stephen was amazing throughout the whole of my illness. It made me realise he is the one that I want to marry. This is quite a significant wedding dress. It is. And I just want Stephen to turn around and see me and sure. realise he he's got his girl back. Well, don't really <laughs> <say me off. laughs> Serena, no pressure. Yes. <laughs> Katie, when she developed this disease, was vibrant, confident. Uh, nothing would stop her. And gradually, her confidence has just disappeared. We've had two years of sick Katie and we want her sparkle back. Who's holding the money bags? My auntie is paying for my dress. Oh! I haven't got dress. a daughter, so oh. she's, she is my daughter. That's lovely. So, OK, yeah. well, since we're talking about money, what, what sort of figure, dare I ask? Well, I, I've just said to her about two. About two. OK. Darling, you need to go to the dressing room. Thank you, Dave. And then meet you we need to go okay. shopping, so off you go. OK. <laughs> this is pretty. I like this. That is beautiful. I have to say, a princess gown would be perfect for Katie's castle wedding, but she described an A-line, which is more flowing and would flatter her shape. Look, let's start with these. Hello. Hi. OK, so I'm trying this one on first. I think, for me, it's important that I feel comfortable in what I wear, because if I feel comfortable, then I'll feel confident. Oh. I'm loving this. Um, I didn't think I'd like the mesh, but I quite like the straps like this. I feel really comfortable as well. I really, really love this dress. I can move in it, I can dance in it. I feel so comfortable in this dress. Turn around, Dolly. Mum, what do you, what do you think, Mum? I don't like the netting. I don't like the bit round the arms. I'm not keen on that material. OK. Oh, I like that material. Mm. I'm not 100% on this net. Okay. What does Auntie think? I actually love it. I love <laughs> the top. I love the sleeves. I love the, the glitter on it. The only thing I would say is, is it grand enough for a castle? I don't know. I did think that. I think that I've seen you go out in dresses like that, and that's why I think for your wedding day, you've got to have something different. You just need to look special. Yeah, I don't think that's special enough. Mums are always right, which is very annoying. And I think this dress probably isn't that big, one-off dress. Let's try something else, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. OK. 
Right, so what do you think of this one? It's holding me here, which I really like. Katie's bowel illness caused her to lose her mojo, and so she's hesitant about a big princess dress. But I think we should go for it with this lace ball gown. I really like the detail at the top. It's just different. Let's go show them. You ready? Yes. Off to you. My mum, if it is the one, I think we'll definitely know by her reaction. Oh. Your eyes are sparkling, darling. Well, how are you feeling, Katie? I love it. I love the detail here. The waist She's done a fabulous job of pull pulling me in. I need her on the yeah. day. Turn round, darling. What do you think, Dad? Yes, I like it. Auntie? I just love that lace tail. It's flattering. Yes, and I love the bling. Mum, what do you think? I like <laughs> it very much from the front. Lovely. But the, I don't like the corset back. thing at the back. So what we can do is you can get rid of all of that panelling and the corset. Right. Do you feel comfortable? Is it wow enough? They all gasped. Your subtle. eyes are twinkling. Yeah. Yeah. I can't speak now. <laughs> she just she actually just looks so lovely. It's such a big thing. No, I'm for her to, to see her look like this. After all <laughs> she's gone through, we've worked so hard to not cry and now this has happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give each other a cuddle because I've got goosebumps. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. <laughs> I feel like Katie in the dress. I haven't had this feeling how I feel now for so long. I feel like a real life princess and it makes me really happy. It makes me emotional. Dare I ask the price? The price of this is £790. Wow. Wow. <laughs> cool. Now that you've got the veil in place, how do you feel now? I feel a lot brighter. Do you? Yeah. More like a bride. Yeah. More yeah. like a More bride. Like a bride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mum, Mum, what are you feeling at the moment? Beautiful, yeah. yeah? yeah. Really do like yeah. it. You're amazing. Oh. A star. It's a, it's a perfect castle-y princess. Not ridiculous, but princessy dress. <sighs> so the only thing I've got left to say is, are you going to say yes to the dress? I'm going to say yes to the dress. <laughs> this dress, it's got the castle glam, but it's also comfortable. I just feel so pretty in it. Love it. I can visualise her in the castle, everybody happy, everybody joyous. Oh. I've now got my dress. We're getting married. It's just a fresh start for all of us.